Hello World Wide Web, my name is Renee, and welcome to the Renaissance. This piece is a painting of one of my best friends and his sister at her wedding. When I start a piece from a specific reference, I like to make sure that the ratio of the height to the width of the reference photo and the canvas that I'm working on are the same. In this case, the canvas is my mixed media sketchbook. And the reason that I like to make sure that those ratios match is so that when I'm drawing, I can use the negative space around the um, objects, usually people or animals that I'm drawing, and use that negative space to make sure that the shapes are right. After I get the general shape down and their proportion within the piece down, I start adding in details. In this instance, because I'm not used to recording myself while I draw yet, and the angle I had to be drawing at was unusual for me, I drew his head a little bit awkwardly long, but I fixed that later. I'm not going to be talking through the entire video, but I will be coming back with more comments whenever I think that they're necessary. Though this is a sketch, sometimes I like to add a bit of shading just to help me really differentiate the forms and make sure that the proportions are as correct as possible. Here you can see that when I stopped recording and finally tilted the drawing up to an angle I was used to, I saw that his head was a little bit awkwardly shaped, so I fixed that, and I went ahead and shaded in the jacket for a feeling of completeness, I guess. And now I'm starting the actual painting process. I've transferred the image onto two different pieces of watercolor paper using a light box and colored pencils. I am using Canson XL watercolor paper, Prismacolored colored pencils, and Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus watercolors. I go in at the end with more colored pencils, as well as a Pentel pocket brush pen, a Uniball Signo, and a jelly roll, a Sakura jelly roll.
Here I go over her neck with some of the skin tone mixed with gouache and quickly realize that it's not giving me the effect I want, so I go back in with some water later to take it off, but I realize that it is exactly the effect I need for the sheer part of her dress. So I also use a little bit of the Windsor and Newton gouache in just titanium white.
To get the effect for his undercut, what I did was I filled the entire side of his head in with the uh, Pentel Pocket Brush Pen, just black ink, and then I go over that with the skin tone colored pencils, and I really like the effect that that gave. I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. Please like and subscribe. There is so much more to come.